Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do It Emma. This is where I talk all about dressmaking plus fabric and patterns. In today's video I'll be talking about my favourite summer makes. Now this is kind of a bumper summer makes. I suppose I'll have to do a wee bit of a round up to see what my top five are. If you're interested, let me know in the box below and I'll bring it to you. Okay, so get comfortable, get a cuff or get a cuppa, then get comfortable and I'll start rolling the intro. I'll see you in a moment. subscribe please do consider subscribing it'll let you know um when i release a new one especially if you hit that notification bell if you've already subscribed thank you very much and i hope you're enjoying this channel if you would like to see any videos please let me know and i'll consider that and um i'll get on with today's chat so spring summer patterns which i've enjoyed this year first off is the world of first off is the world again now i've made four to date three of which were part of the re-release from friday pattern company so it now goes up from a extra small the 7 8 and the top sizes are a 60 bust and a 63 hip so brilliant, I did three for the re-release and um, I don't know why, I just, I was on a ball and I was like, yeah, I've had these in my head and the fabric put aside for the world again. So I just got on with it. So I love all three, they're all different. Yeah. The great thing is about the world again is you can play about with the tiers and also you can wear it as a top. So I still got to do the top but possibly I could put that in somewhere in my autumn winter makes depending on how busy I am because I've got a few plans and I want to get on with my make nine as well. So next up is Nina Lee's Q dress. It ranges from a 6 to 28 to so 16 to 28 now i did the 16 to 28 and that top size is a 54 inch bust and a 57 inch hip my second version with the straps um i omitted the cold shoulder sleeves just purely because I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it and plus it wasn't in the so recreate the look profile that I was taking inspiration from. So I did this and I made it out of a viscose chalet from the rag shop and it's absolutely beautiful and I'm definitely going to make some more strapless or sleeveless tea version. Next up is another dress. It is dress heavy, the first part, but it's a Davenport dress. Another one, another brilliant fine pattern from Friday Pattern Company. This, I think, completely throws all dresses out the pot. This is the star. Um, I love this because of the cool neck duck line where you just pop it over your head and it stretches so it's got an elasticated wet neckline as well as and it makes a lovely little ruffle at the front as well as the ruffles on the sleeves and the elasticated cuffs it just sings all happy days to me i've made two so far and i've got one another one in process the first version I did in a Sorry Rayon by Dashwood um, Studios and the second one I did in a 
lovely viscose from Felicity Fabrics and that was part of a blog post. So I've received the fabric in return for a blog post. The Devon Poet goes from extra small to a 7x which is a 60 inch bust and a 63 inch hip. So it's brilliant that Friday Pattern that companies are one of those companies that I keep going towards because they've got a good range of patterns and a good range of sizes. Now I think this would be ideal for spring going into summer especially on cooler summer nights and um, because you can adapt the sleeves you can make them short you can make them long and you can also play about with the elastic and how tight you want it on the cuffs so if you need to roll it up you've got that option too also you can admit the sleeves and just go ruffle and you can also turn this into a top or a skirt by hacking it. CD Kate has done a brilliant blog post over on Friday Patterns blog so go and check that out and you can spot her top and you can also see the skirt that she hacked on her Instagram page which I took inspiration from and made my own Davenport skirt which I absolutely love. I made it in a viscose twill from Blackbird Fabrics. Next one is the Ashton Top and this is by Helen's Closet. I recently just delved into the Ashton. I don't know why I've been putting it off but I finally cracked it. I really wanted to get some tops and other separates in my wardrobe so I was asked to be Meet the Maker by Helen's Closet which I said of course to. I was like, oh, this is a wonderful opportunity and I'm so pr privileged to be part of it. So I kind of went on a Hel Helen's Closet spree. So I made the Yanta overalls and the Ashton top and I teamed that up with other Helen's Closet patterns for Meet the Maker. The, this the first Ashen top I made was in a bamboo silk and um, it's a gorgeous ochre charmeuse colour I think I've said that right <laughs> and yeah I, it's just it's lovely to wear it is a bit of a pain to iron it creases like nobody's business but I really enjoy wearing it the second one I made out of a Atelier Brunette viscose. I'm sure it's a but yeah. I made out of an Atelier Brunette viscose. It's gorgeous. It's the Granito in white or cream. I think it's a cream, maybe. Helen's closet patterns are really great. They're very size inclusive. So the Ashton top runs from a 0 to 22 and a 12 to 30. Um, the 0 to 22 is the B cup and the 12 to 30 is the D cup. I use the B cup because I am a B cup and I just graded out from the waist to the hips to incorporate incorporate my hip measurement and it worked out fine. I did do the crop for the cropped version for the first version and in the second version I used the full length and added butterfly sleeves. The butterfly sleeve version went so well with the Davenport skirt which I wore to my dad's wedding recently. Another Helen's closet pattern is the Yanta overalls. This comes in a straight size from 0 to 30 and it goes up to a 58 inch hip. I did a trial of the Yantas ages ago and for some reason I was just battling with them myself. I think I'm quite busy with other things so that and just the fear um, of what 
fabric I should go for first kind of just made me pause but I'm so happy that I tried it in the stretch cotton um, that I've had for ever it is a Liberty print um, and I managed to get it from um, a fabric shop which is no longer in existence but I was so happy that I had got over that fear and just cut into it because it is a Liberty one they are so comfortable to make so I'm definitely going to use this little bit of stretch in fabrics to my advantage because this cotton does have about a 3 to 5% stretch so it's all good there's room to grow it's a very new pattern on the scene it is the Soleen shorts and they come in colots as well but I've done two pairs of um Soleen shorts so far and I've got another pair cut out ready to go so that'll have to get done and finish for next spring and summer we can have a good May by the way here in Scotland so they'll have to be May before then <laughs> the Soleen shorts are from Stay Stitch Patterns now you'll know this name if you've tried the Yolo top the Lola top from Stay Stitch Patterns. The Soleen shorts go from a brilliant size range of 0 to 34 and it goes up to a 64 inch hip. Now the first two shorts that I've done are in one is in a Robert Kaufman linen. It's a lovely navy, really dark and it's just so soft. The other pair is in another linen, um, just standard linen, and again, it's really nice to wear in those warm days. I'm actually going to be doing the collots in this very shortly, and it's in a collab with the rag shop. They gave me the fabric, which is a cotton twill. It's in a beautiful cinnamon colour in return for a blog post. So I can't get cracking on these. They're all ready to go. They're to cut out. And then all I have to do is sew them up. So watch this space. And watch the rag shops all close space. Next up. It's a very, very well known pattern with me. It's the Adrian blouse. As well as the sage burst top. But let's just start on the Adrian blouse. This goes from an extra small to 4x which is a 54 bust and a 57 inch hip you know this pattern really well because i've made maybe about eight to ten versions there's no stopping me i just love this top and um, it's just so comfortable to wear and you i've worn it with jeans leggings Culottes, shorts, underneath my yantas, and it'll go even with my skirts as well. So it's a good all rounder. I can dress it up, I can keep it casual. Perfect. This is the same with the sagebrush top. Although the sagebrush top has been fully updated from an extra small to a 7x, which is a 60 inch bust and a 63 inch hip. For the largest size it's great both tops are just very very frequent in my sewing pile um i'm definitely going to have to batch cut a few because it's great just to have that fresh like just a little rest and go back to a pattern that you can just wash out a palette cleanser that's the word <coughs> Back on to Treasures, and it's the Opal Colossus by Megan Nielsen Patterns. She's got two size ranges, one at 0 to 20, and the curve range at 14 to 30. Now the curve range goes up to a 40 inch, 48 inch waist and a 58 inch hip. I tested these colossus and I've made two now. 
so yeah they're so nice and a viscous perfect spring summer warm days and you can dress them up or down i'm definitely going to make another couple of pairs maybe come next spring summer because they're perfect for going on holiday or just lounging around in warm days keep trying to keep cool last not but least it's the block tee by paper theory patterns tara reached out to me to ask to do a review on the block tee it was just newly named from being the kabuki tea for cultural and appropriation reasons. The block tea goes from a 6 to 28 now, which now goes up to a bust of 56 inches and a hip of 57 and a half inches. I love the block tea because it's got sleeves so in warm days when you want to cover up but still want to keep cool try and do a viscose linen in this i love the block tee because it has those lines where <clears throat> it's right angles so you could try and do a really clever color block on this there's so many ways you could do this I thought about maybe adding a gathered skirt to this. That's another brilliant way to do a block. Perhaps maybe trying to get all those viscose scraps together or linen scraps together and really make a dress out of it or just a simple block tee. So, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this splurge of spring summer patterns that I would highly recommend. I'll come back to you if you really would like to get my top five pat summer patterns that I'll go back to next year. Let me know if you would like this and I'll try and bring it to you very, very soon. Hope you're well, keep safe and happy sewing.